Hey everybody, so um, I'm finally back to do an update. Um, it's been a little over a week, but um, I wanted to wait <clears throat> until I saw my doctor for my 39 week um, appointment before I made a video, so I'd actually have some good stuff to update you guys on. Um, but as far as this last week and a half has been, it's been pretty much the same. Um, symptoms are pretty much the same. My, you know, my hips and back and legs and everything are still absolutely killing me. <coughs> um, I, you know, walking is like, I can only do 10 or 15 minutes of walking and then I need to sit down and relax and kind of catch my breath and let my whole body kind of just relax. Um, when I do walk too much, my, I just get like real uncomfortable, just like achy feelings in my, not really like a menstrual cramping feeling but more just kind of just an achiness in my lower back and in my kind of kind of my abdomen, but not, not really. It's kind of more in just the sides, like where my, um, my round ligaments would be. So I think just carrying around all this baby is kind of just wears me out <laughs> when I do walk too much. Um, uh, as far as contractions and all that goes, um, pretty much not, I mean, nothing really exciting that I that I think is happening. I mean, I can't tell you really what a contraction feels like, but I have been out on the occasion having, you know, when I'm just sitting down or anytime really, I'll notice I get kind of menstrual crampy for a little bit and then it goes away. Um, but sometimes I, you know, I'll get menstrual crampy. My stomach doesn't get tight. So I don't know if that's still considered a contraction or not, or sometimes, you know, my stomach will get really tight and hard for a little bit. And, uh, I won't have any sort of like a menstrual cramp feeling. And then sometimes I'll just have, you know, lower back achiness for a little bit and then that'll go away. So it, I, I'm not really sure what is considered a contraction. You know, does it ha does my stomach have to always get tight when I have a contraction? I mean, you mommies out there that have had one or more, mul one or more children can, you know, fill me in on that. It's just so hard to tell what exactly... I'm supposed to be expecting. Um, I haven't lost any sort of my mucus plug or anything like that. Um, I've been just kind of checking every time I go to the bathroom, see if there's anything there, but nothing so far. Um, I'm still having that lightning hot poker feeling on my cervix, which is fabulous. Um, um, that's pretty much it. Sleeping still sucks, but I'm you know, I'm not anticipating that to get any better anytime soon, especially once she's here. Um, I was thinking in my head these past couple of weeks, that, um, I can't wait for her to come so that I can sleep on my stomach again. And I, somebody posted that on their Facebook or something, and I commented on it that I couldn't wait for that either. And then somebody um, said that, well, if you're breastfeeding and you have, um, you know, a whole lot of milk there, you can't lay on your stomach anyway because it just will be extremely painful. So I'm like... Oh man, I wasn't even thinking about that. I was thinking that as soon as she's here and, you know, I'm all pretty much healed up, I would be able to sleep on my stomach again and get a, you know, good night's sleep, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon, especially if I, you know, make it to the full year of breastfeeding, which I'm planning on doing. So, um, what else, what else is going on this week? I'm pretty much just a lazy bum. Um, I try and get up and at least do some sort of house chores or something every single day, you know, stay active as much as possible. Um, the other day I mopped and swept and did all that in my kitchen and dining room and all of that. Um, and then the other day I cleaned my bathroom. What else did I do? Laundry, you know, just every day I try and do something to keep myself active, hoping that, you know, that will bring on some sort of labor or some sort of contractions or something. And that's not working. It just makes me exhausted and, you know, makes my back hurt and legs hurt and all that stuff and makes me just tired and want to take a nap. So, so far, nothing, but, um, hoping, you know, something will start up soon. What else? Let's see. I finished her belly cast, um, and I was going to, you know, make a video of me painting it and the process of getting it, you know, completed and all of that, but just being so kind of lazy and, you know, my, me doing it was so few and far between, like, you know, doing it in pieces that, um, I didn't want to videotape little tiny pieces and have to paste it all together. So at the end of this video, I'll include some photos of 
you know, kind of my steps that I did because I did take some photos. Mm. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. I just had lunch, so I've been, been craving, you know, I've been all about, not really craving, but I've been kind of all about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches <laughs> this past week. I think I've had one every single day for lunch. Um, anyways, what else? I think that's pretty much it. I did, you know, I finally got my nursery tour video up and I got my hospital bag and all of that up. So if you haven't seen those videos, go check them out. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. Pretty much it for the week 39. So now I'm going to go ahead and update, tell you guys what happened at the doctor's today. Um, before the video gets too long. Well, it's already five, over five minutes. Um, went to the doctor, you know, she weighed me and so far I am up, now I'm up 44 pounds, which is crazy. Um, I was hoping not to gain over 40, but I don't even care anymore really at this point. Honestly, it kind of shocks me every time I get on the scale, but I'm just like, you know, nothing, nothing really I can do about it now. Just gonna, I'm almost at the end. Hopefully I don't gain any more. <laughs> um, and then my blood pressure when she first, when the nurse took it, was um, a little bit high, um, actually like borderline, my doctor said, but you know, <clears throat> I was kind of in a rush getting in there and everything. So I think that had a little bit to do with it. But once we got in his office, he rechecked it in the little room and it was much better. So I think it just had the, you know, had to do with the fact that I was rushing and, you know, didn't have a chance to really catch my breath and, you know, calm myself down or whatever. Um, so as far as that goes, that, that everything was good there. Um, her heart rate was, um, was perfect. I don't remember. He didn't tell me what it was. Um, and he also didn't tell me my <laughs> measurement, my fundal height, um, because we were talking about, you know, my symptoms and other things. So kind of just, you know, skipped right over that part. Um, but she has dropped, um, by just what I feel. She has dropped a little bit, so my fundal height, I'm assuming, is probably not as, not as big, but I really don't know. Like I said, he didn't tell me. Um, what else? I, um, had him check me today because being 39 weeks and four days, I just wanted to know if there was anything, any progress made. The last time he, I was checked was at 36 weeks, so, um, I figured that, you know, maybe something had happened, had been happening, ugh. Um, especially with taking my evening primrose oil and all the kind of stabby pains that I was having. So I figured, why not? What can it hurt? Um, and I figured that if I was dilated, you know, anything that, um, I was going to have him strip my membrane. So we did that. He checked me and I'm only one centimeter dilated. I'm not effaced at all. So I'm not thinned out at all that, um, he could tell. And he went ahead and stripped my membranes, which... It wasn't painful, uh, that's definitely not the word for it, but it was definitely uncomfortable and a whole lot of pressure. Because as soon as he got his finger or hand or whatever he was using in there, um, like I instantly felt, you know, uncomfortable pressure and then my blood kind of rushed, all rushed to my head and I was like, holy moly, you know, it was definitely a shocking, a feeling I'm not used to having. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that wasn't fun, but it, it wasn't as bad as I was anticipating. Cause I know some girls say that, you know, having your membrane stripped is absolutely horrendous. And then some say it's not painful at all. So I guess I'm somewhere in the middle. Um, and he said that, you know, if for some reason I were to go into labor within the next 48 hours, um, the membrane sweep could have had something to do with it, but him or me not being effaced at all, he thinks that the membrane sweep probably won't do anything. Um, but if I, for, you know, were to go into labor this weekend, um, means that that's over 48 hours that the membrane sweep probably just had nothing to do with it. And, um, it was just, you know, nature's timing and she's ready to come. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, I set up another appointment for, um, the seventh, which is, According to them, my actual due date, um, according to me, I'm due on the 4th because I go off my ovulation time and according to them, they're going off my ultrasound. So whatever. I never thought it would kind of make that much of a difference, but now that I'm, now that I'm at the end and I want to just get to my due date and maybe, you know, 
get just get things rolling or feel like I'm you know done or I don't know this it kind of bugs me that you know in their computer system I still have six days left and according to me I have three days left so you know whatever I just have to get over that it's just kind of just a, a little a little bit annoying um what else did we talk about that's pretty much it as far as doctor's appointment goes. So yeah, just one centimeter dilated. Um, I kind of was telling him about my contractions, which I already told you guys, or what I think are contractions or whatever. But he says, it, like everybody else, when you're in labor, you'll know it. So I guess I'll just have to wait and see what happens. Um, now, and because I am um, one centimeter dilated and he did strip my membranes, um, I think that we're going to try and have sex tonight and see if that helps because I know now that um, my cervix is a little bit open that I'm um, having sex could definitely help you know speed the process along so we're gonna try that hopefully I don't you know die because <laughs> it just sounds so uncomfortable right now sounds not like what I want to do at all um, and then I'm gonna just continue walking and hope that makes some progress um, I think that's pretty much it, you guys. I'll give you guys a little belly shot. I'll stand up here and show you, ooh, show you the belly. There we are. That's on one side, and the other side. All right. Well, I will hopefully not have to make another update. Hopefully, this will be my my last update before she comes, but, um, we'll have to wait and see. Ooh, sorry about the glare. Um, yeah, so I will go ahead and end this video and look for the pictures of her belly cast and, yeah, just cross your fingers that labor is right around the corner for me. <laughs> I'll talk to you girls soon. Bye.